Hi guys and ladies, have you ever had whole grilled fish with the skin on and bones in? Well, it's been a long, long time for me and I'd love to make it again. And the grill is always ready, so all I need are some fish. Let's see if we could pick some up at our local open air fish market. I'm gonna make my first cast right here off the dock. Stay down. Uh, a perch! It's been a long, long time since I caught a perch. I don't know if it goes with the recipe, but I think so. This is the fourth one like this I caught. They're just too small. That one. Could it be? It's huge, I think. Ah, uh, he's got my rod. It's gotta be a catfish. Oh yeah, this is no bass. Oh, no bass is this big and strong. Whoa! Eh. Eh. Oh. Whoa! Help! I need another hand! wondering where these fish are. And now I catch one like this. Gosh, it's so big. I thought it was a catfish. 20 inches. 20 inches. Okay. Let's get him back. I've used a variety of lures today, but this is what I caught the big one on and a bunch of little ones I've been throwing away. They're too embarrassing to even show you. This is called a Zoom trick worm, seven inch trick worm. On it is an O-ring and under the O-ring, I slid this circle hook. small but it's they always fall in the boat when I'm showing off nothing <laughs> they're so small but this one I could eat I could fillet it if necessary I could grill it too mm. oh he just took it out of my hand like Oh, yeah. oh, it's so small, but not too small. I'm eating them. I'm back to using buzz baits. I like these things because you could see the action on the surface. That's where the fun is. Okay, that'll do. At this point, anything will do. <laughs> I only got these four little fish, but it's just enough to try our grilling recipe. I'll gut them, scale them, 
and we'll grill them whole tomorrow. And besides, we caught a beast today, so I should be happy. Let's get in the house. Yesterday was a typical August dog day of summer. Fishing was really tough, but we managed to cull a few little bass and a perch to grill. The highlight was catching that 20-inch bass. Oh, wait, was it 20 pounds? Yes, yes, it was 20 pounds. Well, now let's get to cooking, but first, a big side dish. I have a pound and a half here of Brussels sprouts. I'm just trimming off the stem ends and I'm throwing out any wilted leaves. I'm also going to quarter them. I got this huge roasting pan. I think it's bigger than I need. Oh dear. Let's put about a tablespoon of olive oil, maybe two, over the top and stir it up well. Now, let's sprinkle on about a half teaspoon of salt. I'm sorry to all my vegetarian friends watching, but I'm chopping up eight strips of bacon here. I'm gonna put these in the fridge for a little bit and get on with the fish recipe. The recipe says I need to grate an orange. These are not navel oranges. I'm not sure what they are. They're homegrown right here, let's see, in uh, Peru, yeah. I wonder if I could get it into this squeezer device. Oh yeah, babe. Now here's a few cloves of garlic, finely diced. I, I minced them myself. I, I was so nervous about this recipe. I didn't want to use the stuff in the jar this time. Here's a whole cup of cilantro. You can use parsley. In fact, you're supposed to use half parsley, but I left a bunch of parsley in the store and all I got is the cilantro. But I love cilantro. Who needs parsley? How about this for living it up? A whole tablespoon of crushed red pepper. That's what the recipe says. Usually it says an eighth of a pinch. Now here's a half teaspoon of salt. When the recipe doesn't specify, you're always safe with a half teaspoon. Let's add some of this freshly ground pepper. All I'm doing here is making slits every inch, inch and a half or so, so that it cooks more evenly and the flavor gets in there. So my plan is to take a slice of lemon and stick it into each fish. Well, it's not gonna fit because the fish are small. So I'm gonna fold it in half. Then I'm going to add a bunch of thyme. If you have a bunch of thyme on your hands, stuff it into a fish. I have huge lemons and tiny fish. Again, I'm not sure how to do this, but we need to soak these with olive oil. Now I'm just going to salt and pepper these. Yes, I know the bushes are gone. We'll get new ones. I'm going to put our Brussels sprouts in now for like 20 to 25 minutes. And every five minutes, I'm going to stir it until we get some crisping and browning going on. Here it goes. Don't forget that bacon. It's been 28 minutes. Oh, yes. Look at this. The bacon is cooked. I'm going to put this in a warm oven and then get on with the fish. I've got one of these grill grates. They're excellent for small items and fish. And I'm just going to spray the heck out of it because I don't want my fish to stick. Let's get our fish on. Let's go four or five minutes and then flip them. While I have a second, I ought to let you all know my dinner guest tonight will be none other than the famous celebrity restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. That's right, and I'm ecstatic. Although I suppose I need a, a dose of reality. You see, we've been seeing each other for eons. 
yet she doesn't seem to want to marry me. And, well, I need to find out just how much she cares about me. Time to flip. I'm so nervous. Okay, a little bit of skin peeled off. So far, so good. Another four or five minutes now. That's it, it's time. Ooh, ooh, everything looks good. I'm gonna plate these up and then pour over our chimichurri sauce. Well, once again, I'm privileged to have with me this evening the famous restaurant and food critic, Miss Lulu Cheeks. And thank you so much for joining me here at my uh, uh, homely, humble hovel. And you had a chance to mm, desirously devour my Brussels sprouts and my grilled bass with citrus chimichurri. And I'd love to hear what you thought of it. Oh, it was delicious. And you know, I enjoyed the fish very much. It was. Um, done just right and I the grilled you know that was a really good way of preparing it mm. and the uh, Brussels sprouts good. with the bacon oh, my the favorite bacon. food group were, <laughs> they were wonderful excellent and of oh. course you know how much I enjoyed the sliced oranges too oh yes it all went well together yes it did thank it very you refreshing. so much thank, thank you. you miss cheeks oh, oh I can say Lulu now right. yeah. uh, I know this is kind of morbid <laughs> But I need to let you know my wishes, and I'd like to be cremated. Okay, how about Tuesday? Huh? Hmm. Can I have a hug? <laughs>